Hey everyone, Marco here and welcome back to the channel. Recently, especially on X, I received many questions about the navigation blocks I use in my Obsidian daily notes. So, in today's video, I'll introduce you to a community plugin called Journals. Now, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that in a previous video I used a mix of plugins, Calendar, Periodic Notes and Quick Add. This combination helped me easily create and manage my daily, weekly, monthly and yearly notes. But here's the thing, Journals does all of that in a cleaner and more efficient way with just one plugin. So, without further ado, let's explore Journals. First, let's take a look at the vault structure I'm going to use in this video. There is the journal folder that contains five subfolders, one each for daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly and yearly notes. And under the templates folder, there are simple note templates. Each template comes with a tag and a templater script that automatically generates a note header. Alright, let's get this plugin installed. Head to settings, community plugins, browse, then search for journals. Install and enable it. Once that's done, click on options and we can start customizing. The first choice you have to make is which day you want as the start of your week. For me, it's Monday. And you can also decide which week in January should count as the first week of the year. I leave this on default. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. With journals, you can create multiple journals to fit your specific needs. Let's create one together. Click the plus button to create a new journal. You'll see two options for journal types. A calendar-based journal, great for daily, weekly or monthly notes, or an interval-based journal, which is ideal for things like financial quarters or project sprints. For now, we'll go with the classic calendar-based journal. Give it a name, say personal, and I use the same name for the ID. Next, select a root folder, that for me, it's journal. And now, enable the types of notes you want and set up your custom preferences for each one. Let's configure daily notes as an example. You can specify the date format, choose the folder where new notes will be stored, and select a template. You can even opt to auto-create a daily note whenever you open your vault. Once that's done, go back and do the same for the other note types weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, it's all pretty intuitive. Then I like to add journals to my left sidebar and drag it down here for quick access. Now let's test it. To create a daily note, all I have to do is click on the corresponding day and BAM! The same goes for weekly, monthly, quarterly and yearly notes. The plugin even automatically inserts the journal ID, section, date and time frame. Super efficient! Now let's talk about the navigation block you've seen in my previous videos, but first I'll delete the notes we just created. To add a navigation block, all you need is a simple code block with the three backticks and calendar nav. I add these to all my templates, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly and yearly. Then, whenever I create a new note, the navigation block appears automatically. Click the arrows and the plugin will take you straight to the corresponding note, or create it if it doesn't exist yet. Now, the timeline block is another cool feature for weekly, monthly or quarterly notes. It helps you quickly access the specific daily notes from a given time frame. To create one, add a code block with three backticks and calendar timeline, and set the mode parameter to whatever suits your note week, month or quarter. For example, in my weekly template, I'll use the week mode. In the monthly template, it will be month, 
and in my quarterly template it will be quarter. When I create a new weekly, monthly or quarterly note, I'll see the timeline of the entire time frame right there. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments if you've tried this plugin and what you think about it. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my bi-weekly newsletter for more content about productivity, knowledge management and automation for free. And if you want to support my content further and get access to exclusive downloadable resources like my Obsidian Vault templates, consider becoming an insider on my website mindstoneconsulting.net. You'll find all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.